Astronomers around the world were caught off guard this week with the sudden appearance of a new comet in the inner solar system. The object, now officially designated Comet Swan 25b, was first spotted in images from the Solar Wind Anisotropies Swan instrument aboard the SOHO spacecraft. It was amateur astronomer Vladimir Bazugli who first noticed the unusual brightening in Swan's ultraviolet hydrogen maps. His report quickly triggered follow-up observations, and within hours, <laughs> the discovery was confirmed by comet specialists and astrophotographers around the globe. On September 12th, 2025, the comet was added to the Minor Planet Center's possible comet confirmation page, known as the PCCP. -P. At that time, its magnitude was listed at 8.3 but visual observers placed it slightly brighter at 7.4 to 7.5. That makes it visible in binoculars and even accessible to small telescopes and telephoto camera lenses. Comet Swan 25b appears to have passed perihelion only recently, hidden from Earth observers by the sun's glare. As it re-emerged into the evening sky, astronomers immediately noticed signs of an outburst, a rapid release of gas and dust from the comet's icy nucleus. Veteran comet hunter Michael Mattiazzo of South Australia imaged the comet on September 12th, revealing a two-degree-long ion tail. He noted that its behavior closely resembles that of comet C-2004H6, which underwent a similar brightening surge after perihelion. Other observers, including Martin Maschek in Chile and Ernesto Guido working with the Space Flux Network, confirmed both its brightness and its active tail. Early images show a condensed coma, strongly suggesting that the outburst involved a significant release of fresh volatiles. Outbursts are among the most dramatic and least predictable aspects of cometary behavior. Typically, a comet brightens steadily as it approaches the sun, with solar heating causing sublimation of surface ices. But sometimes, the nucleus undergoes sudden stress that ruptures its crust. This can occur for several reasons. Thermal stress. As the comet heats rapidly near perihelion, expanding gases can fracture the crust, exposing fresh ice. Pressure buildup. Subsurface pockets of volatile materials, like carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide, can accumulate pressure until they burst through the surface. Fragmentation. Small pieces of the nucleus may break off, dramatically increasing the exposed surface area. When this happens, the comet can brighten by several magnitudes in just hours, as large amounts of dust and gas are thrown into space. The freshly ejected material is swept away by the solar wind, forming long ion tails, like the two-degree tail now visible on SWAN 25b. Such events can transform a faint, unremarkable comet into a binocular or even naked-eye spectacle, but they can also signal instability, raising the risk that the comet may fragment and fade just as quickly. Right now, Swan 25b is in the constellation Virgo at around right ascension 13 hours 9 minutes and declination minus 9 degrees 30 minutes with a solar elongation of only 30 degrees. That means it is very close to the sun in the evening sky, making it tricky to observe in bright twilight. Observers in the southern hemisphere have the best chance, with the comet appearing just below Mars after sunset. Binoculars or a small telescope are recommended, and astrophotographers using a telephoto lens may be able to capture the developing tail. The orbit of Comet Swan 25b is still highly uncertain due to the short observation arc. Some preliminary estimates suggest it could pass as close as 0.25 astronomical units from Earth in October, roughly 37 million kilometers. If the comet remains intact, 
and continues to outburst, it could become a rewarding target for both visual observers and astrophotographers. But comets are notoriously unpredictable. It may fragment, fade, or brighten dramatically. As always, the only way to know is to keep watching the sky. Comet Swan 25b is a striking reminder of how dynamic our solar system remains. Just days ago, it was hidden in the sun's glare, unknown to science. Today, it has burst into view with a spectacular ion tail, catching the attention of both professionals and amateurs alike. For sky watchers in the coming weeks, keep an eye on updates from the Minor Planet Center. Check the latest ephemerides, and if you're in the right part of the world, point your binoculars toward Virgo after sunset. Whether Swan 25b becomes one of 2025's most memorable comets or fades into obscurity, it already tells a fascinating story of icy relics from the early solar system still making themselves known, one sudden outburst at a time. <laughs>